short history of the gaze, uh, as I said, is a VR piece, um, which by definition means that it is extremely immersive and it will transport you, the viewer, into an interactive environment, uh, an immersive interactive virtual environment. So everything about the piece is designed to um, really require the input and participation of the viewer. But then it becomes a bit trickier and more complicated. Um, the title of the piece, A Short History of the Gaze, makes reference to the way in which um, simply by looking, not necessarily by doing, uh, but by looking, we are already oftentimes implicated in, um, in events and in actions. Essentially, this piece asks the viewer to become a witness of certain events that occur in this virtual environment. And how do you do that? Well, either by looking at them or by not looking at them. And this uh, triggers a series of very interesting and quite complicated questions about what, what sort of agency we have as um, viewers, as witnesses, as players, as users um, um, of interactive media um, in virtual environments. What does it mean to look at something or to look at way, look away? This is, of course, a, an important question to consider in the real world. There is a political um, valence to the choice of looking at something or ignoring it and uh, this piece kind of makes clear that this might be um, a, this this model of thinking might be applied also to a virtual reality um, we might say that um, um, these modes of interaction of looking or looking away directing our gaze at something in, in, a, in a vr environment uh, is politically charged in uh, these emerging new technologies as well something that i think hasn't really been um, considered and explored and problematized by artists quite enough